What is up, you malevolent marsupials, and welcome to the 8th, I think, 7th or 8th, maybe? I think it's pretty sure it's, I'm almost positive it's the 8th episode of the Ella storyline of Let's Play Skyrim Modded to Hell. And, um, I'm going to go back to Vex now and get my reward for that thievery job well done, even though I did die once. And I think at some point pretty soon here I am going to try to spring some of those kids from the Honor Hall Orphanage. Um, I don't know where I would take them though is the only problem. I do have a mod now that will allow me to have those kids as followers, at least if all goes as it should. Um, I should be able to um, take some of those kids as followers and lead them out of the Arnold Hall Orphanage. But the only problem is I don't have a backup plan. Where am I going to take them? You know, like just drop them off at the inn or something, and then and then what will happen? They'll probably just end up right back because of their AI packages. You know, the vanilla Skyrim AI packages. They'll probably just end up right back to the orphanage. So. Um, I'm not really sure how I'm going to work that out yet exactly, but uh, I don't know, we'll see. For now, I'm just going to collect my reward. Telling you which way is up. Steal anything worth talking? Oh, you're back? I suppose you'll be wanting your pay then. I swear Vex just keeps expecting me to die or something, and I keep wondering when she's going to up my reward because it's always been 50 septums, but it's like costing me that much just to get to and from where she's wanting me to go. Why don't you give me some local jobs, Vex? I mean, seriously, it would save me a lot of coin, and then I might actually be able to make a profit from you. But let's see what else you got. I handle the burglary, shell, sweep, and heist jobs. Most of them involve breaking and entering. If you don't like that kind of work, talk to Delvin. He runs the more up close and personal. Actually, the sweep job was kind of fun. Let's do another one about. Let's do another sweep job. One of the quickest ways to make some coin. Yes, yes, if you've you're told interested, me this. Make a point. What do you say? I'm in. Fine. Here's everything you need to know. Please be in Riften. Please be in Riften. Fingers crossed. Toes crossed. Hairs crossed. Back Damn it! Solitude. I, uh, I haven't even left yet. What do you mean back with good news? Okay. So, oh, and another, another thing that just struck me is I forgot to ask about small jobs from the innkeeper in Markarth as well while I was there. Oh, well, I'm going to Solitude. Maybe I can ask the innkeeper there. So, yeah, I think I'll do like 10 videos of Ella, maybe. And then that way I can do a cool death compilation and then I'll switch back to Betty for a while. And, uh, is there anything I should do while I'm here? You guys want me to try to, um, maybe I should try to get some of the kids out of the Honor Hall, Hall Orphanage. For some reason I can't say that. Okay. Um... Although it is broad daylight right now, so it probably wouldn't be the best time. And also, I have no idea where I would take them. Maybe that's a good one for the comments uh, section for suggestions. You guys, let me know, what do I do with the kids once I get them? You know, I got them, now what do I do with them? Just drop them off somewhere? So, let me know in the comments section if you guys have any interesting ideas for that. For now, I'll head to Solitude. Alright, now I've got another question for you guys. Um, if I start... Wow, it just got really dark out for some reason. Um... If I start actually traveling by foot to all these towns she's sending me to to save money on carriages, would you guys want to see that? Since there's probably going to be a lot of fighting and leveling up during that time, or would you still want me to skip that traveling? Let me know. Alright, it said I need to get food soon, and I feel like dying from needing to drink so bad, so let's go ahead and do... Uh, this is actually will decrease thirst and fill me up a little bit at the same time. Still hungry, need more water. Still hungry. Have a bit more water, it says. I'll go with uh, some cheese here. A bit more. Salmon steak, how about that? Freshly stolen from Augmund. I'll be eating your salmon steak and your potatoes now, Augmund. Alright, I'm full, it says. Now I'm going to drink some spring water. And my thirst is good. Okay. Cool, let me check my, um, before I level up. Yeah, it says I'm tired and I need to sleep. I'll probably do that pretty soon here while I'm, while I'm in town. Um, oh yeah, let me go ahead and level up here. And I've never really done any sort of, like, power leveling type stuff, guys, so... And really, it's not that interesting to me because I'd rather just kind of casually enjoy the game and let it, you know, let it happen instead of trying to control everything. Um, but if you guys have any suggestions for me, because I've put quite a bit on stamina and I'm sure you, some of you guys are probably like, put some on health, damn it, or, or whatever. So if you guys have some suggestions, um, I wouldn't mind taking suggestions on whatever, whatever you'd like. 
I swear I keep getting this perk. Did I die last time? Is that what it was? I, I added this perk and then I died? I think that's what happened. It seems like I keep adding that perk and then dying and then having to re-add it and then I keep thinking to myself, haven't I gotten this perk several times? Anyways, let's head in here and um, maybe if before I hit up the inn, I'll uh, try to find the guy's place at least. Actually, actually it is nighttime right now, so I could even go ahead and perform the job right now perform the sweep and then uh, get my room at the end after I after I accomplish it we'll see but it is perhaps a little bit risky to do this without sort of staking him out and finding out his schedule and staking the place out first but uh, it's 1:25 a.m. so odds are he's gonna be there you know so okay so I'm pretty sure this is all markets up here and this is like, up there is like the dungeon and the castle and all of that, and then, then you got the blacksmith and the fletcher. I don't think there are any houses up there. I'm pretty sure the residential area of town is all down here. And I'm looking for a house owned by a guy named Advar. Advar's house right there. Cool. That was a quick find. Alright. Um... Let me check this place out. Okay. It looks like these are connected, maybe. I wonder if there's... Telling, I heard it. it looks like it's all one building, that's for sure. I wonder if I could get into Advar's place. Oh, there's three houses in one building. Okay. Um, I, I wish I knew more about what these symbols meant. Oh, well. What do you think, guys? Should I just go for it right now? It is 1.43 a.m. So, odds are he is going to be probably sleeping, I would imagine. I'll save it first, because I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna do this. I think I'm just going to go for it and make the... This isn't really a very wise decision, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it. Make the assumption that he's in there sleeping, probably. Somebody's coming. That guard's probably going to be coming back this way soon. I better get on it. Shit, come on. I really hope you're sleeping, Advar. Ah, okay, that's why this is familiar. I think I've, I've been in this guy's house before. Ah, uh, there's someone awake in there. I can see him. Or at least I saw some movement. Yeah, it looks like... Is that someone sitting right there? I think it is. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I should not be here. What are you people doing awake just sitting around at this hour? I'm supposed to be doing a sweep here, you bastards. Okay, I can either risk the noise of jumping over this chair or try to walk all the way around the other end and not be seen. I'm gonna go very, very slowly. Is that a sleeping Advar? No, that looks like a kid. And it won't tell me what the name is, okay. There's a jeweled flagon. I must be friends with these people or something because it just said take instead of steal. You know, she actually doesn't care that I'm here. I might be able to do this easily. You don't care that I'm here at almost two in the morning, do you? I must be friends with them because all this stuff is just free. I'm not sure why, but... Yes. As long as I'm in sneak mode and unseen when I take the valuables, I think I'll be okay because they don't seem to mind that I'm in their house, even though it's 2 in the morning, so I'm not even going to try to remain hidden. And look at this. Potion of Regeneration. Really good value, and that item is stealing, but I think I'll actually I'll grab that while I'm here, too. Alright, so I need to find the other valuables. Just act like I'm hanging out as a friend, I guess, as long as they don't care that I'm here. I can see one right now. They make it so obvious what you're to take. I mean, look at that. It's practically glowing. And one more.
There's Advar. I might as well just get out of here, though. I'm gonna take that potion downstairs, though, before I go. There we go. Okay, cool. And all this stuff is just free food. I might as well take some. I wonder what's in this barrel. Oh, I'm carrying too much now. Great. I just got too much damn cheese, Groka. Alright. Alright, let's get out of here. Well, that one was a little bit too easy because it was disappointing uh, because they... Nice helmet, dude. I like that. I what like is it? That. We're in a shiny red helmet. That's really cool. I want it. Anyways, um, that was kind of disappointing because it was too easy because uh, they didn't even mind my being there at 2 in the morning just running around their house. So uh, that was a little bit disappointing, but it, at least it went off without a hitch, so can't complain on that on that front. But uh, yeah, all right, let's head back to Vex, and um, maybe I'll pick up another job. Maybe I'll do a different kind of job this time. I don't know. We'll see. What do you guys, guys want to see me do as far as different types of thievery? Maybe I should just start, I could just start stealing independently now and not even, you know, I could just go where I want and steal what I want. I don't necessarily have to keep getting jobs. I've got a fence now, so I could just steal uh, independently and then go back to sell it to the Thieves Guild fence. In fact, I'd probably get a lot more money that way, to be honest. Just stealing valuables of my own, at my own discretion and then selling them to the fence. Probably make a lot more than the measly 50 septums I'm getting right now for every job. Honestly. So maybe that would be a good idea. Oh well, for now I'll make my way back to Vex and see what she has to say. Alright, so until then, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, back in Riften and I've got all these messages popping up telling me I'm carrying too much, I need to find a bed, I'm starving, I'm thirsty, so... Let's take care of some of that real quick here. I'll eat some of my stolen bread. Some cabbage, carrot, mix it up, not just cheese all the time. Oh, great, I've eaten too much. Well, I'm screwed. Alright, drink some spring water. Some more spring water. There we go, thirst has been quenched. And let me check my needs and stuff now. Okay, uh, I ate too much and I need to sleep really bad. So, um, the carry weight is negative 60%. That's why I'm having such a hard time. That's why I'm all of a sudden over encumbered carrying too much. And my speed is down 30% from eating too much. Great. That's just awesome. Look at this. Oh man. Alright, well I'm going to skip all this, obviously, for you guys. So you don't have to see this. And I'll see you guys when I'm uh, talking to Vex. Okay, so Ella decided she'd be better off getting some sleep first and then meeting up with Vex afterwards. So here I am at my humble abode here in Beggar's Row. And I'm just going to get some sleep, man. That's what I need more than anything. What can I do for you? What you can do is get the hell out of this bed. Yes. Stand up. There are plenty of other beds here, Violet. Thanks for wasting my Alright, cool. I'm gonna get an early start, but still a lot of sleep. Got like fifteen hours of sleep. What the who is this guy? Snelf, you sleep down here too? Ah, uh, no wonder there are so many other owned beds, huh? And who else? Edda? Okay, this is all the beggars plus the two prostitutes then. I should probably just change the ownership of one of these then. Um... I'll just... I'll just have a... Actually, how about a bed by the fire? I'll set this one. I'll set ownership on this one. You can kind of consider it a cheat, but at the same time, if we're going for realism, there's no reason she wouldn't be able to sleep in this if no one was sleeping in it. It just doesn't make any sense. Yep. Amazing what people leave laying around for us to take, isn't it? 50 septums every time, huh? You don't ever, like, give me increased rewards for bigger jobs, or... Good. We could use the coin. Alright, let's do, uh, what's a shill job again? When a client needs us to eliminate another, we don't operate like the Dark Brotherhood. We find alternate means to get them out of the way. We send you to plant some phony evidence in the Mark's house and then tip off the town guard. The rest takes care of itself. Sound like you can handle it? I don't know, I'm kind of more into thieving. Keep turning down jobs like this, and the guild will begin to lose respect for you. Alright, so, let's go with a heist. Good. We could use the coin. Every now and again, we like to remind the shopkeepers that we're in charge. If that means break, feel like doing a bit of shopping? The guild will- Let's go Fine. for it. Here's everything you need to know. I'll 
silver necklace from the beam barb. Damn it, not this one. <laughs> oh, well, at least I'll be able to pick the lock this time. That's good. Whoa, what the hell is this creepy dude doing down here? What's on your mind? In my in my in my safe space. What are you doing? Okay, that guy freaked me out, man. I came out here and that guy was like right in my face, all eerily uh, eerily lit from below and everything. All right. Moving on. Okay, I'm gonna go get that silver necklace. I'll see you guys at the B and Barb. Out of my way, out of my way. Drunken revelers. Okay. Hopefully it'll be a second before that guy comes up here. Where the hell's the sweet spot? There we go. Take some wine while I'm here. Right on time, there he is. Nope, that's not him. Nice, I thought he would be coming up to check things out. He's always watching me when I'm trying to steal. Nothing else in here worth taking, it looks like. Maybe he's distracted by all the drunken bastards in his inn. That's good, that's good. Alright, I'm getting out of here before anyone even noticed I was around up here. Cool. Yeah, what's your problem? What time is it? It's still 6 a.m. You know, I might come back here actually and get my room free for the night and perform here. It'd be cool, you know, get a free room at the same place I just stole from. That'd be that'd be pretty good. All right, I'm heading back to Vex, and I'll see you guys when I'm there. Time is money. Back with good and with no strings attached. Not bad. Still only here, 50. Damn that's it. That's a coin for you. All right. Well, got a septum or two for me. Thank you. I can just beg from her every time she doesn't give me enough. Alright, I could get some training while I'm here. Um, what I really need to do is buy some torches, man. Uh, let's do a straight up burglary job. Pretty simple. Break into a... The catch is you can't kill anyone who lives there. You ready for some good old fashioned burglary? Sure, lay it on me, Vex. Whatever. Just get it done. Here's the job. How about you, you want to come with if me? You're for extra work, <laughs> talk to Vex I need a, like a, a thief companion to take with me sometime. Well guys, it's another solitude job. I'm going to walk straight to the carriage and actually, what time is it? Yeah, it's 6.32 a.m. and I'm, let's see, I'm well rested and everything, right? So, alright, I'll go ahead and head to solitude. So, um, I'm going to head straight to the carriage and I'll see you guys when I get to solitude. Alright, back in solitude, and it says I need a nap, and I'm tired, and I'm hungry, and all this stuff, so... But at least I feel comfortable. That's good. <laughs> um, you know, when I get a job that's a little bit closer to Riften than solitude is, um, I'll actually walk it all the way on foot, because it would be a really good chance for Ella to start learning how to hunt, and how to, you know, I'll pick ingredients all along the way, and start eating them to, you know, test their effects, and it would be a really good chance for her to start getting into all that kind of stuff so that she can start exploring that side of who she's going to become in this playthrough. I guess I could walk all the way back to Riften from Solitude, but then you have the problem of not only animals attacking, but Frostfall trying to kill you off, and like, having to stop and make camp, and uh, all that good stuff, so uh, you know what, before I get too distracted here, what is my actual job this time around? Whoops. Okay, retrie retrieve the jeweled candlestick from Yvette San's house, okay. Um, so that's gonna be down here, where the most of the houses are, I would imagine. In fact, didn't I, uh, didn't I bump into that one recently, I think, when I was down here last time? I think I might have, I don't know, I think I might have seen that house down here somewhere. I think it was, was it this middle one? Yes, okay, cool. Um, right next to this one that I just recently stole from, Advar. 
Man, they must really hate the people that live in this one house. They're like always sending me here. Okay. Um. Well, I mean, it's a bit early, and I don't know. I don't know if that's schedule. Um. What's the easiest way to find out a schedule so you know the best time to come back? I don't know. I mean. It's got the same markings as this house, and they didn't care that I was there. So maybe once I get inside, it'll be a similar situation. I don't know. Eh, no time like the present. I'm going to save it here and go in and uh, see if anybody's in there. Okay, so far so good. I don't see anybody. Alright, I'm looking for... Oh, man. Cave repel, only three in weight and value 600. I will take that. This is all, again, this is all stuff that's just free for me for some reason. Why wouldn't it let me take this? I'll take that steel helmet. Or that iron helmet. Take some ingredients. Alright, I'm looking for a jeweled candlestick. Oh man, that was easy enough. Let's see what's in this end table though, before I get out of here. Let's search a couple of these sacks. No, no. Do I have a woodcutter's axe with this character yet? I don't remember. Yes, I do. Okay. I'll take some of this wine though. Should I go ahead and case the rest of the place and see what else we got? Got some wheat. All this stuff, none of this stuff is stealing. It's all just up for grabs. I don't really need or want any more cheese. Oh, here we go. Awesome. Eh, I don't really want those clothes. Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, go back. What have we here? Ah, some psychedelic mushrooms, I see. Very interesting. I think I'll be taking those. Alright, awesome. Oh, I'll take the quill too, actually, because the value is good for the weight. Eh, might as well take some tomatoes. I usually only find cheese, after all, so... Take some venison, more wine. I never drink the wine, so I don't know why I keep taking it whenever I see it, but I think it's just because, you know, it's worth some money, so I always want to take it, but, ah, oh, why did I just take the stale potatoes? Oh, well, I'm getting out of here. All right, so that was another easy job. Um, I'm probably going to start just stealing on my own independently and then selling stuff to the fence. I think that's going to make me more money, unless there's some greater benefit in the long run to, you know, um, to stealing for the Thieves Guild and working my way up in that way, but it just seems to be the same reward every time. What's great is that this is where I started, you know, and now I'm coming back here to steal from the people I used to live next to. I think I'll go ahead and stop here at the fountain and grab some of that and then fill up my bottles. There we go. I'll go ahead and drink some too if I need to. It sounds like I'm hungry also. Okay. Eating some bread. Oh yeah. 
I think it's probably about time to clean up Ella's face too. I started her out in the character creation with a really dirty face since she's an urchin, but I think maybe she's made enough money now and stayed at a few inns that maybe we can say she's she's had a chance to clean up a bit, you know? Then again, she's always sort of roaming around in the dark and in the dirt and she sleeps in beggar's row, so maybe she still would be dirty. Maybe I should save that until uh until she's actually like making enough to have a regular nicer place to sleep <laughs> other than beggar's row maybe it's not quite time to clean up Ella's face just yet anyways alright guys I'm gonna head back and I'll see you when I get there alright guys I'm back in Riften and I've been thinking about it and I kinda think it's a little bit too early for Ella to go try to save some of the kids at the honor hall, honor hall orphanage if I can spit it out Basically the reason being is that uh, I feel like Ella would feel more sorry for the children and feel more motivated to go back to them and try to help them um, if uh, she were in a better place now, but really she's still kind of living in the squalor. She's still, she's still sort of in the same place as them. She's still sleeping in Beggar's Row and barely scraping to get by. So I kind of feel like for it to make better sense in this story would be if Ella, you know, if we wait till Ella's kind of quite a bit better off and she's really making some good money and she's you know in a better place then she would kind of be like man I really want to go back to my beginnings and save those kids so I think we'll wait on that and I think it'll it'll end up being better for the storyline if we do but I still want you guys to let me know in the comments section what in the world I should do uh, oh Medesi sleeps down here too well anyways I still want you guys to let me know in the comments section what to do with the kids after no that's my bed don't sleep there Medesi Damn you. What are you doing that for? I'm not doing anything. Just stay out of my bed and we won't have any problem. Yep, I'm just Tidings. gonna I'm just gonna go to bed now. Alright. See you later. Oh, it's 5 a.m. Well I won't sleep for very long. I'll just sleep till eh, six hours. It's probably enough, right? Maybe? I'll go for seven. Anyways, yeah, I still want you guys to tell me in the comments section what in the world I'm supposed to do with these kids um, after I, you know, say I get them out from, from under Grelid's control. And uh, what do I do with them then? Where do I take them? So maybe you guys will have some cool suggestions on that. And uh, I think we'll wait on that, though, because it'll be better for the storyline if we do. All right, so I'm hungry and thirsty. I'm going to eat some bread. And I'll drink some spring water. And let's see, didn't I get some tomatoes? Tired of eating bread and cheese all the time. There we go. It says I'm full. I'll drink some of this water here. Alright, I've still got quite a bit of spring water, but I really need to, you know, really need to make sure I'm keeping track of that pretty well, because I don't want to... I, I actually have it set up in realistic needs and diseases that I can die of thirst, so I really need to... That's one of those things that I really need to keep track of and make sure I've always got plenty. So, and actually, just in case I have any empty bottles right now, I'll go ahead and fill up. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to go back to Vex, but I'm going to skip that. And then I think after this job's done and I get the next job, guys, I might go ahead and hoof it on foot to the next destination so that I can um, start working on getting good at alchemy and learning all the uh, effects of everything. Like I said before, maybe start hunting a little um, and just do some... Do some sort of outdoorsy woodsman foraging and stuff like that. All that good stuff. Foraging and camping and hunting and, uh, you know, messing with ingredients and all that good stuff. I think Ella needs to have a time where she kind of explores that side of things for a while. I'm as money. Here's your gold. Try not to spend it all Still 50 place. gold? Damn you, Vex. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get another job. Good. We could use the coin. Let's go for uh, let's go for another sweep job. Those are pretty fun. The owner fun. of this place just got an inheritance from a relative lost in the war. Yep, sounds Gentlemen, good. Good. Just remember the order: do job first, get drunk second. Now take this and go. Oh, that's right. I didn't get wasted last time after the job like she wanted me to. <laughs> All right. Okay, we got a white run job now. All right. So, I will probably actually go by foot all the way to Whiterun this time. So that I can do all the aforementioned things. And plus, it's more exciting. This back and forth taking carriage is, is quicker, sure. But it also gets a little bit repetitive in that it's kind of just, you know, back and forth, back and forth, same thing. So, um, I'm going to go by foot this time and see what sort of adventure I can find on the way. See, so, yeah, I was kind of thinking like, you know... Ella's really got nothing to give these kids yet. She's still, you know, she's still struggling to get by. And she's not really, she's, 
she's not in any sort of advantage or any sort of higher place to you know yes. bestow her benevolence and greatness upon these kids she's still sort of struggling like them so what would be cool though is if Ella made it to a place where maybe she maybe even if we waited till she has a house of her own maybe I could even adopt them you know when Ella's a little older or I don't know but all I know is right now Ella's really just concentrating on survival um, as her number one priority because she's not really that well off yet so she's not really gonna have anything to bestow on these kids if she saves them now is the thing you know um, I mean, they could sleep in the rat ways, but would they be any better off there than living with Grelka or Grelid, whatever her name is? All right, so um, so I'm gonna walk all the way there so that now we can do some hunting and killing and probably run into some cool shit. I've got immersive creatures and high-level enemies and all that stuff, so there should be some interesting, interesting times. Oh, and I've got Asus adding to my spawns. So as you guys that may have been watching the series for a while probably know, sometimes I can get attacked by like way 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 too many things at once and it's hilarious and awesome so anyways i'm gonna go on foot and um see what happens but that's it for this video and as always guys remember to like comment subscribe send me hate messages start a flame war whatever you want to do i'll see you next time bye